What's up everyone, it's your boy Lauren Rad 89 here bringing you another video and sorry for my voice or how I sound. I've been having like really bad allergies the last couple days and I sound like utter crap right now but I'm still feeling pretty good. But today, I don't know, we'll see how I feel after this video because I might lose some subscribers. I'm hoping you guys stick to the channel but today I'm going to share my unpopular horror opinions. So these are going to be opinions of mine for horror films that are just not widely accepted or can be controversial so like i said hopefully you all stick around but you know at this channel we like to be honest and all that kind of stuff and be open about ourselves and some of the best things about us as people is that we're all different we all have different opinions and that's a great thing so stay tuned to the channel for this video so you can check out like i said my most unpopular ones in the horror community so let's do this roll it So like I said, these are just going to be my thoughts and my take on these horror films in this video. And of course, that's just my opinion. So that means I would love to hear from all of you in the comment section. Share your thoughts on these films. What do you think? Or any kind of unpopular ones that you have amongst the horror films out there that people kind of shun you for. Or they get mad at you for. Or they look at you sideways like, what? Are you a little crazy? So like I said, I would love to hear from you. So share in the comments. So let's kick this off with, right off the bat, I want to start with probably the one that I think is the most controversial. Yeah, we'll go with that one first. We'll start with the one that me, in my personal opinion, I think is the most controversial on this list. And that's going to be that Jaws isn't the best shark film. And I know a lot of people out there are probably freaking out, clicking off after this. Just what are you talking about? Like... Jaws has been heralded for a really long time as being one of the, not just best shark films, but one of the greatest films of all times. And for me, when you got to be understanding who you're coming to and who you're talking to when it's coming from my mouth is that I'm not a person who gravitates towards shark films. It's definitely not one of my favorite subgenres in horror but I do watch shark movies, but I'm one of those people that I think, I think Jaws is a little overrated and I've, in my like I said, my time of watching shark films over years in my 33 years of life, I've seen better shark films that I would return to over Jaws. So yeah, I think Jaws isn't the best shark film. For one example is The Shallows. I think The Shallows is a fantastic film. And when you look at a lot of rankings for Jaws or I mean for shark films, like what are the best shark films out there? The Shallows isn't that far behind Jaws. And I urge people who haven't seen that film to go out and watch it because I actually think that film holds up. It's very well. And I know Jaws might be one of those films that it's kind of for the time it came out, what Steven Spielberg was able to execute and accomplish for what he had. That's kind of why Jaws is heralded as such a king for a very long time. And I understand that, but I think it's it's 2022 or 2023. We're going, you know what I mean? Like it's the time now. I think it's time to move past Jaws to that it's not it really isn't the best shark movie out there. There are some other ones out there that people need to digest like The Meg is a crazy ass ridiculous one that kind of has elements of Jaws but elements of Deep Blue Sea in that ridiculousness and melds it together and becomes a successful film. So yeah, there's a lot of shark films out there that I said I think people should digest and go check out because I think, yeah, Jaws isn't the best one out there. That's one of my unpopular opinions now for the next one. Now we're going to be talking about some Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And Toby Hooper fans, please don't get mad at me, please. But I think the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake is better than the first one. I'm one of those people that does think that. And I've ran into other people that do think that. It's just not a very popular opinion because Texas Chainsaw Massacre is viewed as Possibly the scariest movie or one of the scariest films of all time. It's a lot of people's favorite horror film of all time that I've talked to. And I could understand that love and I see where they're coming from and what Toby Hooper was able to do with that first film. It's really an experience and almost an experimental type horror film that worked and feels very grindhousey. But for me, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake did everything that original film did but better. Even the intro to it with the hitchhiker, be it the tone, 
that grungy, dirty nature of the film. I really do love that. And I dived into a lot of this stuff when I did my Texas Chainsaw Massacre ranking. But yeah, the remake for me is just, it's everything that first film did, but better. I like the performance by Andrew Broniarski as our Leatherface. I think that's top notch. I enjoy spending time with the cast in this film that Jessica Biel is a part of, like all the protagonist cast that are getting killed. I have a lot more fun with them over the cast in the original film. So yeah, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the remake, I know, like I said, it's just one that I return, out of eight times out of 10, that's going to be the Texas Chainsaw Massacre film that I grab. Is That's going to be the one or that I want to watch. It's just, it does everything the best out of the franchise. And I feel like, I know, like I said, that's not widely a popular opinion because a lot of people love Toby Hooper's, but Another thing you got to understand is you're talking to somebody, again, you're talking to somebody who doesn't think that's Toby Hooper's best film. I think Poltergeist is his best movie. That's my favorite film of Toby Hooper's. So Texas Chainsaw Massacre has always been a film that I enjoy. I like that original film, but it's never been one that's been like the crown, top dog, the king. Like it's never been one of those kind of films for me. Now, last but not least, there's some other very, very unpopular ones that I have, but they're more just movie ones. I wanted to focus this one on just horror. So like I said, last but not least is going to be The Exorcist, I think, is very overrated. This is one of those films that I have more of an appreciation for. And I understand why people view it so highly as being one of the scariest films of all time. Being one of the greatest horror films of all time. And just the impact that it had on the general community and the fan base at that time. I, I appreciate that, and I understand where a lot of people are coming from, but in terms of me, I'm one of those people that, yeah, The Exorcist, I think it's not even the best in that subgenre in terms of exorcisms. I think Exorcist 3 is a, fran is a film in the same franchise that I find much more rewatchable than that first film. The Exorcism of Emily Rose, I think, is a highly more entertaining film and better film than The Exorcist. So, yeah, I'm one of those people that I appreciate The Exorcist and I understand why people love it so much but it's never been a film that I gravitated towards it's never been one that I viewed as the scariest film of all time or anything like that and I know I've even there's a great documentary you watch on Shudder there's a tv show called Cursed Films and they go into The Exorcist there's an episode they do that they dive into a lot of the stuff that happened on set and kind of the myths that surrounded The Exorcist. So that's a great episode. If you haven't seen that, go watch it. You'll learn a lot more about the film. But yeah, it's definitely one of those films, like I said, it's more of an experience, more of a moment in time and what it did for people. And it's kind of just gravitated nostalgia. It's just kind of traveled also, word of mouth, over time that people are just like, The Exorcist is so pop, so great. And plus it's a... A lot of people's first experience with horror films is, to be honest, The Exorcist, even though it's a film that's wild, it's out there, it's got a lot of vulgar dialogue, a lot of crazy scenes, and it's out there, but a lot of people remember it. They have experiences with it before they were 10 or as a young child, and it sticks with them. But yeah, for me, I'm just one of those people that, yeah, I think there's so many other better exorcism type films that are in this kind of subgenre of possession and stuff like that even the movie uh, movie possession that is a fantastic film from the 80s that i think in some ways is much more atmospheric and much better than the exorcist so yeah like you know like i said these are just my unpopular horror opinions and i know there's a lot of people out there freaking mad at me you're watching this video you're like robert how are you a horror fan what's wrong with you but you know, like I said, we're all different. That's the best thing about us. And also let me know in the comments your thoughts, but be nice. Please don't be crazy. Like I said, don't be wild. Don't be mean. We are all here. Like I said, it's all subjective. We all have our own thoughts and our feelings on these films. But yes, I would love to hear from all of you in the comments. Share your thoughts on my opinions for these three films and or these unpopular horror opinions. What do you think? Are these wildly out there? Do you feel in the same realm as me with some of these? Because that's like I said, I'm not alone. I've heard people say that the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake is better than the original. And I've actually heard some people say that The Exorcist is pretty overrated. So it's not ones that I haven't not not heard. It's just very rare. 
probably like said the most egregious one rarest one is that jaws jaws opinion so we'll see how it goes down in the comments but be sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you get more videos like this and more content because that's what helps out the channel and also the likes the like like button helps out the channel with the algorithm as well but most importantly i want you all to have a safe and happy day peace out